Hey, 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 happy Saturday and happy Christmas Eve. How are you? Hop on, hang out with me for a little while. I just have to get ready for the festivities today. And I thought I'd go live and see what everybody is up to. So hop on and say hello. Um, and if you're new, hi, my name is Shelby Ray. And um, I would love for you to drop the word new and tell me where you're tuning in from. So let me get this shared right quick. Also, if you would like to be in my VIP group, just drop the word VIP. I do lots of fun stuff in there. Me one more. Okay. There we go. Hi, how are ya? Happy Christmas Eve. So I thought, well, I've got to get ready anyway. Might as well go live and see who is out there and see what everybody is doing and just hang out. We'll put on a little eye cream. We had such a good time last night. The boys came over with their families and all of our grandbabies, and it was so much fun. However, it is so cold. <laughs> Is everybody across the United States cold? Or is it just us? Maybe California is not cold. I don't know. I know in Canada it is super cold. Um, we have a friend of ours that lives in Ontario. No, Quebec. And um, she says a huge storm came through. Ice, snow, all that. Hey, Lauren, another Canadian. How are you? Happy Christmas Eve and happy Saturday. How are you doing today? All right, let's put some primer on. My face is so dry. Look, y'all, it got down the windshield here. They, I think that they said it was the coldest um, kind of Christmas weekend in the last 40 years. And, um, oh, good. My mother just made it home. Kirk has taken my mom home. Got to hang out with her. Um, we got to go shopping the other day. Minus 27 degrees Celsius and winds up to 90. <gasps> Colum Lauren, that is... Okay, I'm warm now here in the south <laughs> compared to that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, good. You're home from work. Awesome. Um... So, yeah, Kirk has taken my mama home, and oh, her pipes did not freeze or anything, so all is well. You know, I worry about that. Speaking of pipes freezing, ours froze. I don't know if anybody else's did, but um, the weird thing is that our hot water tank froze. We had no hot water yesterday. Let me tell you how difficult it is to not have hot water. Mm. Um, I don't have a dishwasher as of right now. So I hand wash all of my dishes. And that is difficult to do with no hot water running. Got to boil it on the stuff. It's just, it's insane. Um, so tell me how your week has gone. Tell me how your Christmas is going. I know the big day is tomorrow. And we had such a good time last night. So I just wanted to hang out see what everybody was up to. I got to let my primer sit for a couple of minutes, so I'm going to take my collagen right quick. It is still my favorite time of year, even though it's cold. Actually, I think it should be cold on Christmas, um, and the kids did so good. Right? Uh, Lauren, I've never not had hot water. So, it was different. It was very different. Now, let me just say about 10 o'clock this morning, so, Kirk had all of our faucets, the bathtubs, the bathrooms, and everything all turned on. Um, the cold water always dripped, but he had the hot water turned on. And all of a sudden, at 10 o'clock this morning, I hear this boosh. All of it, I guess, broke loose. <laughs> there was water. I mean, it didn't get on the floors or anything, but it was just like water everywhere throughout the house. It was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> 
I'm thankful I have hot water now, but it was pretty crazy at the moment. Oh, Lauren, every year. This is the very first time. And I guess if every year, I guess I would be more adept to it or know what to do. But I ain't gonna lie. Kind of freaked out that I didn't have hot water yesterday. Woo! It was one of those times that, have you ever, now, if you're new, I'm 52, so there's been a lot of water under the bridge so far. But have you ever had to take um, a bath in the sink? Because <laughs> you didn't have hot water? Oh my gosh. That was an experience. I mean, I've done it before, but... You know, I had everybody coming over, I had lots to cook, and I had lots to do, and I just didn't have time to take my bath in the sink. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. I'd love to go to Canada. I've never been. It's one. Of, it's on my bucket list. Uh, but yeah, that was that was pretty that was pretty different. I didn't have time to take a bath in the sink, but you know what? It all worked out. I was clean. I was fresh. It all worked out. I didn't freeze to death. Um, the house was warm, so that was a good thing. All right, let's put some eyebrows on. Girl, I did not wash my hair. You're right. Dry shampoo to the rescue yesterday. Thank goodness for whoever invented dry shampoo. That was a blessing. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so let's get some eyebrows on. So, technically, our Christmas is over. Um, kind of, sort of. And what I mean by that, like, you know, when your children are grown and they have their own children, then they start their own traditions, right? So, I try to be very flexible and lenient. I used to be a very stickler about when I wanted my Christmas. Um, and when the kids were, the grandbabies, when there was just a couple of them and they were baby babies, it wasn't as hard. But, you know, we have blended families and the kids are older and all of the things that come with that. And try to get um, what is it? Five, three, four, five, and seven. I'm trying to get 12 people together on the same day to do Christmas is a difficult task, <laughs> but we made it work. So when I said that our Christmas is kind of over, it is because, excuse me, um, all of the grandkids and the boys came over yesterday and we did Christmas with them that way, they could have Christmas Eve and Christmas Day at their homes and with their other in-laws and families and dads and moms and all that kind of stuff. So, this year worked out really, really well. Um, it was the, you know, other than being cold, but I will tell you, kids are resilient. Um... I guess when I was a kid, too, it didn't matter what the weather was. If I got an outdoor toy, man, I was going outside with it. So, the boys got um, remote control big um, trucks, okay? All three of the boys did, the big boys. AJ, the little one, the two-year-old, oh, my gosh, he's into dinosaurs. We got him so much dinosaur stuff. Well, we got him two toys, but then we got, like, dinosaur pajamas and dinosaur underwear but that, that boy loved his little dinosaurs last night. He had a little dinosaur Jeep, a little safari Jeep and stuff that went with it. So cute. Um, anyway, the big boys got, all three of the big boys got remote control, big trucks. And even though last night after they got to open them, I think it was like minus 12 windshield last night. <laughs> they took those trucks out 
and they ran them through the snow and everything last night and had a ball. Now, they didn't stay out there long, <laughs> but they did take them out, and they ran them, and they raced them, and all of that. It was so fun. I missed that. I let the dads and the granddad go out and do that. <laughs> you know, there's things that Gammy does, and then there's things that Big Daddy does. And that was a Big Daddy thing last night with dads, to go out in the negative 12 to do the big trucks. But um, all the boys came in cold, but laughing and having such a good time. Um, it was just, it was perfect. So, anyway, I told that story to tell you that that's why, technically, our big Christmas is over. Now, me and Kirk will do Christmas tomorrow morning. We'll get up and give our little gifts that, um, we have and do that. And just, we kind of, when we first started, um, so if you're hopping on, say hello, hashtag sunshine. I'm just getting ready for the day and thought I'd hang out with y'all. Um, but when it first started, I was kind of disappointed that nobody was here on Christmas and all of that. However, I have come to really love the fact that it is just me and him on Christmas morning. Um, it's very special. We just, we have our coffee and we have our time together. Um, it's so sweet. So sometimes when you look at things and you're like, oh, I'm so disappointed that, you know, something didn't turn out like my expectations, what I thought it want, I wanted it to be. Um, sometimes it turns around if you look for that silver lining, um, you know, you typically find it. So, I have really come to enjoy that our Christmas morning is just the two of us. So, hopefully, if you're in a similar situation, and especially if it's like the first year or so that you're doing this, you can find the silver lining. I mean, there's, you know, I used to think Christmas had to look a certain way and be a certain way, and I would get very disappointed. Let me just be honest about that, and I would be very upset about it. And my Christmases weren't as, I mean, I loved them. I enjoyed them. We had great Christmases. But a little bit in the back of my mind was I was a little disappointed because it, in my mind, it didn't turn out the way I thought it was supposed to look, um, but it really does, and um, you just enjoy it, and it's wonderful. So, there's my little Christmas story from yesterday. Um, hop on, say hello. We don't have very much to do today, but getting ready for whatever we have to do. Kirk will be back in just a little bit. Oh my gosh, we took mom shopping Thursday, Christmas shopping, and I bet I haven't had been Christmas shopping with my mom in at least 10 years. I don't know, things get busy, and we just, we used to do it all the time, and then one year falls after another year that falls after another year, and all of that. Hey, Rhonda, Merry Christmas Eve, how are you? Happy Saturday. But it was such a joy to take my mom shopping and go to lunch and fight the crowds. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. I'm glad you're doing good. And then my mother got to pick out her own Christmas gift, which was I was so thankful for because I could not figure out what to get my mother. What do you get a woman who's going to be 80 in April? Who has everything she's ever wanted, really. I mean, I mean, really. Um, it's so difficult to buy that. I mean, what do you really get her? I used to just buy her house shoes all the time because that's what she really liked. Um, and then I knew uh, my son and daughter-in-law were going to get house shoes for her. So, because they asked me, what do I get, Grandma? And I told them house shoes. So, then I was like, I don't know what to get my mother. <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyway, she decided that she wanted a new purse. So, we went to Dillard's, and um, she got to pick out a new purse of her choice. She was so excited. She was like a kid in a candy store. Um, it brought me so much joy, y'all. She was so cute. And the sales lady we had, she will probably never see this. And if I remember correctly, I think her name was Pam. I can't swear by that. But she was the Dillard's in Kyerville in the outdoor mall. If anybody knows her that sees this, oh my gosh, she was the most fabulous woman ever. She made my mother laugh and smile and, um, I mean, I, my mother was so much joy, so much joy. And I just, I love that woman. I, I want to go back and see this woman at Dillard's and just hug her neck, um, because it was just so special. And my mother picked up this purse and um, she said, oh, that looks cool. It's um, Her purse ended up being like a burnt orange color. And um, which she normally just either gets a black purse or like a tan purse. You know what I'm saying? Like no real color. But anyway, she picked up this purse and it was kind of a burnt orange color. And mother put it on and she was like looking at herself in the mirror. And you could tell she really loved this purse. And so my mom said, oh, I think I look cool. And this lady, y'all, she was so cute. She said, you're not cool. Girl, you are popping. And so then my mother started saying, okay, well, then I'm popping, y'all. Yeah, I guess she had to be there, but it was so cute. My mother, who's almost 80, will be an 80 in April, is like, I'm popping with my new purse. She was too cute. Anyway, that sales lady was the best. And I know that being in retail at Christmas time has got to be one of the most thankless jobs in the planet. Um, but this woman was excited and happy. You wouldn't have known if it was Christmas, the 4th of July, the middle of February. It, it didn't. This one was fantastic. I think I'm going to go back and find this woman. See when she works. I'm going to take a picture with her and put it on Facebook. That's how much joy this woman brought me. Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. I'm just hot. I'm just getting ready. Just telling Christmas stories. I want y'all to say hello. Just hang out with me. Um, there's not like a whole lot going on or anything. But I needed to get ready for the day. So I thought I'd do it live. I hadn't seen y'all in a couple of days. So busy. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I have missed my Starbucks though. I ain't gonna lie. This is my Starbucks. So I'm drinking my peach monster drink right now. I'm just using palette 10 if you're wondering. Isn't that pretty? I just love the palette 10. Alright, let's put some foundation on and then I'll finish up my eyes. My eyes. Oh, let's do some concealer. So hop on, say hello. If you are new, drop the word new and tell me where you're hanging out. I was fixed to say phoning in. <laughs> Y'all. Tell me where you're um tuning in, watching in, live, whatever. Where are you? If you're new, tell me where you're new from. <laughs> oh, I am outside of Memphis, Tennessee in a little town called Mason, where we are frozen. But that's okay. The animals are all taken care of, and they are happy, and they are warm in their little sheds and all the places that they need to be. Oh, also, just to throw this out there, just because I'm getting ready, all the steals and deals are still... Hey, Krista King, how are you? Merry Christmas. All the steals and deals are still available. Well, most of them. Some of them have sold out, but 
Y'all know y'all can always message me. That's not why I'm on here today. I'm just home on here today hanging out. Just hanging out, getting ready. I had to clean my brush to put my concealer on. So do y'all have a, um, let me, oh, I was supposed to get some Amazon packages yesterday. Yeah, they didn't show up. However, thank goodness, they're only for Kirk, and I say that because, bless his heart, um, if they're late for Kirk, they're no big deal. If they're late for the grandchildren, that's a big deal, right? A couple of them were supposed to be here yesterday. That did not happen. I, it says a couple of them are supposed to be delivered today. We'll see if that happens. I know those people are working themselves to death. Can you imagine how many people last minute shopped online hoping that it will show up? <laughs> Well, Kirk's birthday is next week on the 30th, so the things that are, one thing I was going to give him for Christmas, but um, the other things that are going to be here are for his birthday, so it's not a, it's not a huge ordeal. Are y'all waiting on packages? Oh, Rhonda, I'm so glad you did, girl. Happy, Merry Christmas. Happy Saturday. Love you so much, girl. Thank you so, so much. Uh, and Merry Christmas to you and your family. I appreciate you. Just put a little concealer on. I didn't get much sleep in the last couple of days. Oh, did y'all see my story where I, um, I think I posted, um, posted it too. So I make um I make all kinds of candy at Christmas time. But this year I made basically like peanut clusters. They're um different chocolates all mixed together and then you put peanuts in it and then um you scoop them out and put them I put them in cupcake holders just to make them all kind of the same. But I normally put them in the refrigerator to let them set. It was so cold outside. I used Mother Nature and her weather. And I put them out on the deck, on the porch. They set up in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I think it was 10 degrees out there or something at the time. Crazy. You know, use what you got to your advantage. So hop on, say hello. Just hanging out, getting ready for the day. Uh, you know you can ask me any questions you want to, whether it be about makeup, life, whatever. We're just hanging out as girlfriends. All right, now I'm gonna put on some Serum Plus foundation. This is 12 to 14 hour wear. It is a liquid, but it's a serum, not a liquid. And I have people ask me that all the time. Because it has skincare built in and it's got squalene, um, sodium hyaluronate, all kinds of good stuff, um, it's, it's different than just a liquid. So it takes very little. Like I just put mine in my little dish. I just drop it in there. But I love the coverage and I love that it is so lightweight. And you want to um, make sure you start in the middle and work your way out. Putting on your makeup. Because you want all of your makeup to, or most of it to be in the middle and not on the outside. That's where you get those makeup lines and all of that. My hair is crazy as heck. 
But that's where you get all the makeup lines is when you put too much on the outside and not on the inside. And then I just take my beauty blender and go around my eyebrow because I've put those on first. Just like so. And once I have most of my foundation on, I just take my beauty blender and pat it all out basically. Because this is what's this is what is gonna give you the most flawless finish. Like I think I need a little more up here. And it's buildable. But I'm telling you, this is the most lightweight foundation I think I've ever worn, besides our spray airbrush foundation. But you really just want to tap everywhere. And that takes away any of the brush lines and things that you might have. I don't normally have any, but this just kind of ensures that I don't, you know? Okay, so let me tell you a story about Santa Claus. And I, I saw this on um, TikTok. Imagine that. And um, I listened to it, and I was like, I really like that, and it, and it makes a whole lot of sense, okay? So I wanted to share it with you. This guy was talking about basically Santa Claus, right, and for your kids. And so the gist of it was that when your gifts you give a lot of times and I have done it in the past as well like the big gifts and stuff they always came from Santa Claus right it was just kind of what I kind of that's what I thought we were supposed to do new to do whatever right no big deal I'm going to finish up my eyes right quick. Anyway, this guy was talking, and he said that um, him and a friend of his was talking, and he felt like that your gifts from Santa um, should be, I'm just using the darker color as my eyeliner today, your, um, the gifts from Santa should be your smaller gifts and the gifts from you, meaning the gifts from like mom and dad, should be the big gifts. And his theory behind it, that was that when you go back to school as a kid, okay, everybody's going to ask you, especially the smaller kids, everybody's going to ask you what you got, what Santa got you for Christmas, right? Even teachers prompt these questions, which I think is a good thing because, you know, everybody wants to tell their story about what they got. Absolutely. Here's the thing. So... His theory was that if you gave all your big gifts from Santa, the kids that didn't get quote unquote big gifts like, I don't know, Nintendos or four wheelers or TVs or whatever the big toy gift is this year or whatever the case may be, if Santa only didn't bring that child that, that didn't get it, that child wonders if he was really bad during the year or um, 
if Santa didn't like him as much or whatever the case may be. So the theory was that if you did the small things, then everybody was kind of on the same even playing field um, with the whole Santa deal because everybody basically could get small, inexpensive gifts from Santa. And so never nobody ever felt, no child ever felt like, you know, they didn't do good enough throughout the year or, um, you know, Santa loved all the children the same, you know, basically that kind of thing, which I thought was a really good deal. I think it makes a lot of sense. What do y'all think? I think that's a good thing because you want everybody to feel that, they're, you know, that they're loved and all that. And I know the kids do. I'm just saying. I probably didn't explain that right, but I thought it was a good thing. I thought it was good, a good theory. So your big stuff should go from mom and dad, and Santa should do the smaller things. Speaking of smaller things, do y'all give uh, underwear and socks at Christmas? <sighs> I always give underwear and socks for Christmas. And it's the first gift that everybody gets to open. And we do, um, we watch each person open their gift. And my son always says, oh, he shakes it. Both of the boys shake it and go, I wonder what this is. They make fun of it. But I'm telling you, they look forward to their underwear and socks all year long. Don't let them fool you. They love it. So if you're just hopping on or you're on the replay, just drop the word replay. Hashtag sunshine. Say hello. If you are new, just drop the word new and let me know where you're tuning in from. I would love to know. I just want to say hi. Say welcome. <laughs> I'm just getting ready for the day and just wanted to hop on. And say, Happy Merry Christmas Eve to everyone. Happy Holidays. I know we're all going to be enjoying the day tomorrow. And this evening... There we go. Anytime you put eyeshadow on, all you have to do is blend, blend, and blend some more. There we go. All right, let's warm up our face with a little bronzer. Oh, here's another little trick. So I'm out in my she shed, which is about mm, probably 50 degrees. My hands are cold already. Um. And my mascara is cold. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it under my thigh and warm that up while I do my other stuff. Because it's very difficult to put on cold mascara, y'all. <laughs> if you don't know, you do now. It's very difficult to put on cold mascara. All right, let's do a little bronzer. A little contour. Warm up our face. We do this. See how we're going to slim down our face? Look, instant facelift. Merry Christmas to me. And all of this is on the steals and deals, so they're all on sale. So if you've got some, uh, if you get some. Christmas stuff money from Santa. I know where you can get some fabulous things at a discounted price. Oh, also, let me tell y'all this. Okay. Let me go ahead and tell y'all. Next to Friday on the 30th at 7 p.m., I'm having an event. Okay. And um, 
You're just going to hang out, bring your own makeup, whatever makeup's in your bag or whatever, okay? And I'm going to do a Makeup 101, 101 class. Um, next Friday night, bring your coffee, your wine, your cup of tea, your water, whatever you drink. And just come hang out with me for about an hour next Friday. And we are going to talk about the basics Okay, you've got to go. You are a creeper. Here we go. Creepers on Christmas Eve. Anyway, we're going to do, I'm going to do a Makeup 101 class where we'll just do the basics of makeup. And that's going to be like eyebrows, eyeshadow, contouring, blush, anything of that nature. And... Next week, I'm going to have different things throughout the week, um, asking questions of what you want to talk about, what your, um, you need kind of help with, with makeup, or what you've always wanted to know about, how to do certain things. And did you know there's really a certain way to put on mascara? I didn't know either. Um, like, we're going to talk about hooded eyes and how to put eyeliner and eyeshadow and different things like that on. I thought my live went dead. Anyway, I'm just putting a little highlighter on. Oh, I didn't do my bronzer under here. So, I'll be sending out invitations next week. I will also um, be asking questions throughout the week of what you want to talk about. Um, what techniques you'd like to see, um, anything like that. So it's going to be a really fun time. It's just to hang out and, like I said, have a good time and talk about makeup. Let's see. Oh, let's blend. Blend, blend, blend. So that's Friday, December 30th at 7 p.m., And we can do, like, I can do half a face, like, a, a natural look. And then if you want to do a half, like, a glam look, we can do that. I can show you different foundations. Um, whether you like, like, a BB cream, like, is a tinted moisturizer. Or you like the Serum Plus foundation, like, that I'm wearing today. Or a stick foundation. I have a powder foundation. There's five different ones. We can talk about the different ones, especially with um, age. Like, again, I'm 52, so if you're new to my channel, hi, I am 52. And so I like a more natural look than I do anything else. However, there are days that I do a lot more glam if I'm going somewhere. I'm just going to put a little tight line. And we can talk about eyeliner. And, um, oh, that made my eye water. Um, different lipsticks, lip butter, things of that nature, right? So hang out next Friday. All right, let's get our mascara on. Oh, I think I have something in my eye now. That's not good. Yeah, I have an eyelash. Come on, people. There we go. Okay. We'll put a little mascara on and then we'll throw our lips on. We'll be good to go. Don't forget to share the video because I am still doing my giveaways. And the big box of favorite things I will be giving away on my event next Friday.
So every time you share, just either drop the word December or a purple heart. And that lets me know that you've shared the, the video. And you can go back and share any of the videos throughout December. Okay. And you get extra entries for every one you share. It's just a little twisted mascara so far. And I'll show you the box is right there. Of my favorite things I'm still putting more stuff in there but so far that's what I've gotten do you want to see it I'll show it to you what all is in there so far let me put this first coat of mascara on And I'll show you. Something on the end of that. That's good. wonder why your eyelashes on this side are different than the other ones. I mean, these are like crazy eyelashes. I don't know. All right, that's my first coat. I'm going to put a second coat on, but I'll show you the favorite things box so far. I'm still adding to it, okay? So, every time you share, let me know you shared, um, but you get an entry into... Um, my favorite things box giveaway. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so, so far, this is what we got. Um, a beautiful cup. Look at that pink, shiny cup. You know I love my Starbucks cups. A frother to froth, um, do your frothing for your iced coffee or your, I think you can do it for hot, I don't know, I've never done it for hot coffee, y'all tell me, um, but one of the cute little frothers, love that, love that, a head hugger, just like I'm wearing today, look at this one, isn't that pretty, love those, um, okay, this is a makeup bag, it has goodies in it. I can't show you. I'm not supposed to. Um, but that'll have inside. We'll have stuff in there. Okay. Another um, nylon like backpack. You know the backpacks that um, you can wear that are very light. And one of my favorite blankets. Oh, excuse me. That monster is really getting to me. One of my favorite fluffy so soft blankies um that is in there and so far that's what's in there so far more stuff will go in of what my favorite things are okay so again just share my video drop the word december a purple heart or the word shared so I know you've done it because it's very difficult for me to find out if you do or not. Um, FB doesn't like to tell me. And so there are, that is so far the box of my favorite things. Uh, let's see if I can get that put up. Okay. All right. Let's finish up. Let's finish. I'm going to put our second coat of mascara on. We're going to put our lips on. 
then we will be done. Oh, I do have a little mascara there. I'll show you how to get that off without messing up your makeup. And when I go back to do my second coat, I really just focus on the tips. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I really appreciate it, girl. There we go. Just like that. All right. A little lippy and we will be ready to go. Y'all know that, um, if you don't, here's what I do before I put my lipstick on. I um, take a Q-tip. And take all of the foundation off of my lip. because I have discovered that whatever lip product I put on stays a lot longer and, hold on, sorry, my nose was running, stays a lot longer and, um, it looks much better if it doesn't sit on top of my foundation. Let's see. We're going to do warm hearted today. I'm actually going to use a lip liner. I don't use this all the time, but I do love it. And um, this is how I do mine. So I do. A line across the bottom. This is going to have make you look like you have a fuller lip. And then a line here, okay? And I'm going to bring everything into center, okay? Just like we talked earlier about putting most of your makeup in the center and then moving it out, we're going to do inside out or outside in, sorry. So one line across here from corner into, from corner into, and now we're going to do the top, the upper lip. And what you want to do is do your Cupid's bow first. See how you want to cross down, come up. Make your little peak. And come down. And I really have to create an upper lip, just kind of like creating my eyebrows. Because I don't have an upper lip, per se. But to give you a heads up, I think I'm going to rectify that in January. Um, so then I go from this corner. So if you're in the Memphis, Tennessee area and you have a uh, recommendation for a lip filler, throw me a line. Let me know. Okay. So see how I came up from each side. And then I take it and I make sure that I don't have any on the side. 
like too bad. And it's kind of outside, not really outside, outside, but it's not on top of your lip. See how much of a fuller lip I have? And it does make a difference if you take your lines into the center. It's science. I don't know. Okay. Now, I always put a little hottie lip plumper on. Not much. And sometimes, I leave it just like that. But... Today I'm going to use our Splash Liquid Lipstick. It's a matte finish. It's kind of a, um, this is called Successful. It's kind of a mauve rose. I think it's super pretty. Here's another thing. Wipe as much off as you can. If you get too much product, it just kind of sits on top of your lip and it really doesn't do a whole lot. It could get messy. See, I just go in and fill in. Oh, I'm going to fix that. Hold on. That looks like Mimi on uh, what you got. We go. Isn't that pretty color though? Hmm. I love it. There we go. All right. Does that look good? It sounds like something's crashing outside my window. All right. I think I am done for the day. Let's set it and forget it with the Prime and Set Spray. I'm good to go 12 to 14 hours. Boom, done. There's my look today. All right, so, happy Christmas Eve. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for sharing all of my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Um, it helps me so much. Um, you can also always message me for anything. Have a very Merry Christmas Eve. And never forget, you are beautiful, you are valued, and you are loved. Thank you, ladies, so much. Have a wonderful Saturday and a very Merry Christmas. Bye, guys.